Thank you for your purchase of Prestige DIY products. Today we'll be talking to you about our Prestige Square Column Systems. First, you just want to make sure you have a nice open space so that you can do your setup. Some of the other items that you're going to want to have is a rubber mallet, a tape measure, a pencil, you may need a knife, and a little bit of sandpaper, a quick square, and some of the optional use at the end of the install is caulking and a caulking gun and dab. We've chose to use two separate pieces of equipment, so we have a hammer drill and a screw gun that we can do today's install. If you have a miter saw, this is the best piece of equipment to do a quick and easy resizing of your product. We package our products so all the good faces are assembled together so that it limits any opportunity to get them damaged. So we're gonna use the box so that it's a protective surface on top of our workstation. So let's, let's simply cut down around the side. Let's open up our packaging. You might want to inspect it and make sure that uh, there wasn't any damage before it was shipped to you. It's good to collect all your items. Then we're going to pull all of our skirts together, our instructions. You'll have a little bit of exposure to some of the other products that we have as building solutions and a step-by-step -step instructions on the installation. So our squaring corners comes with our Weld-On 705 adhesive. We also have the fasteners that you'll be needing to anchor your column into position. I want to point out the, the innovation. It's our smart lock column. That's allowing not to have any external fasteners on the finished face, thus moving this installation process to a completion much quicker than any other products that you'll see in the market space. So we're going to be going over to the area that we're going to do our install. We're going to measure our vertical height. We're going to keep in mind we're going to reduce that size by a quarter of an inch so that we can allow for expansion contraction to happen. Okay, so we've measured our vertical height at 103 and a half inches. So let's go ahead. I've already flushed up the one end so that we know that all four will be in the same plane so we get the same length on all four shafts. So we're at 103 and a half and then we're going to come down that quarter inch for the expansion contraction. If you don't have a miter saw, just go ahead and use a framing square and we're going to make sure that we put a square line across coming through that arrow and I'm going to cut all four because I have good confidence of cutting four at a time. If by chance you want to cut them all as individual, you can certainly do that, but please do it from the back side so that you don't scar the finished surface of the column. And this is the reason we don't want to cut on your good finished face because then you're going to end up scarring your finished face. We're going to bring our female joint out and lay it out on the table. I happen to know it's the second one, so just refer to your installation instructions and flip it over. And the reason for that is that we want to get the adhesive onto this face and the inside lock. And go ahead and put quite a bit of adhesive on. We're just going to run right down to the end. It's white, so it's also going to act as a filler. A little extra. And we're also going to do the back side because we're going to put three faces in all at once here. Get about 20 minute working time. We're going to flush up our end. Easiest to use your rubber mallet. You just want to use the table. We're going to slide it forward off the table and with the adhesive it actually acts as a lubricant and it'll slip right into a good connection. So we're going to push this end back onto the table, having this one hang off. So let's bring out the, the next one, line that up on the end. You can see it's kind of wavering a little bit, it's hanging off the table. Now we're just going to simply slide that over. Hopefully you can see that we got it separated. We're just going to work from one end to the other using our rubber mallet. We're not going to hit it too hard because we don't want to damage the surface. And it doesn't take a lot of hitting. And you might have to go back and just touch up a couple spots. So let's go ahead we'll take it over to uh, put it around our, our structural post and do the next stage of our install. Also part of our solution in our column system is our skirt accent. We call a squaring L as our first part of our installation. The squaring L holds our column in its vertical alignment. The vertical alignment is to hold the column in its true level plane around the structure. The squaring corner is also part of the accent of the finished look. 
and we've added the glue and we have adhesive running up these two flights on both halves. I'm just gonna start from the bottom and line it by hand first. Let's go ahead and hammer that in. We're gonna go ahead and add the adhesive to the square and corner. Install that so that the miters line up. One thing I wanna point out, it goes right around the column, holding it in position, allowing for expansion contraction. Let's go ahead and screw this into position. Just gonna bring the screw down flush. Okay, so we've pulled the, the adhesive backer off of number one, two, skipping three, and number four. We're gonna put adhesive on one half of each joint. Fold this back. Now we create a 90 degree corner. Remembering that this one is gonna allow us to slide across and make a connection, pushing firmly. Bring the miter around, bringing this one around. We're using this piece of tape, intentionally provided, to hold that in position. Okay, so we're gonna use some DAP to seal this to give it a very nice closed-in look. Thanks for adding Prestige Columns to your home. If you need any other information, go to our resource center at www.prestigediy to look at how to finish your products if you so choose to add paint. Thanks for your purchase and enjoy.